from Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. This is the Fox 13 5 o'clock news. All right, you know, what is downtown Tampa going to look like in three years? Maybe what about five years? Up next, the bold plan laid out today by the city's mayor and how he plans on getting you involved. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn says today is the start of a new beginning for the city. He just announced his master plan for downtown and its surrounding areas. Fox 13's Kristen Wright's live in downtown tonight to tell us about the plan and how you can get involved. Kristen? Well, Denise, Mayor Buckhorn says this project is about you and about what you want. He says he plans to get all the feedback he can possibly get from the public, and he plans to do it through a social media blitz and through a series of community meetings. Now, right now, it's after 5 o'clock, so a lot of people who work downtown are simply leaving, getting out. But the plan is to get them to stay. Renee Alexander and her mother, Trisha Irons, love Tampa. Renee is a student at USF. She plans to go away for grad school, but then come back to live in Tampa. I love Tampa. It's a great place to live. They've lived in great American cities like Boston and D.C., but still say this is where they'd rather be. If people want D.C. and Boston, then that's where they go. This is different, and they come here because it's different. So what I say is to maximize what we have to offer. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn says he has the master plan to get more people to think like the mother-daughter pair. Buckhorn announced Envision Tampa Monday. The city is using a $1.2 million federal urban development grant to help pay for it. I don't think there was a, a passion uh, for urban development before. I think we encourage urban sprawl because land was cheap. Um, Downtowns are alive, they're vibrant. People are coming back to downtowns. The goal is to develop stronger amenities to attract more people to live and play downtown. Also, to connect the surrounding areas of Channelside, Ybor City, Tampa Heights, and areas west of the Hillsborough River. Downtown may be the hub, but the spokes are the neighborhoods, and the spokes have to be alive and engaged and feel, feel a part of this. Transportation improvements are part of it, and Mayor Buckhorn says light rail is necessary long term. That's how we make these areas more connected, so that you don't have to drive from one area to the other. Some are skeptical of the whole plan, though, and don't want to envision anything. It's something that I think most people would consider frivolous um, and not really all that essential, especially people who don't come downtown. They would have that, which is the majority of the people in the county. Now, the first chance for you to get involved is actually this Wednesday at an informational meeting at the downtown Hyatt from 6 in the evening until 8 o'clock. Now, also the sale of Channel Side will be important in all of this. And the Tampa Bay Lightning owner, uh, Jeff Vinnick, we've told you this a few days ago, put in a bid for Channel Side. And Mayor Buckhorn said today that he's a fan of Vinnick's and that uh, he'd be a big supporter if he were to get the bid and that he thinks they would work great together. So we'll see how it all unfolds. So if we're talking light rail and all of these things, uh, get the community invested into living and, and uh, being downtown, where's the money going to come from to make these kinds of things happen? Did the mayor talk about that? He did. The city was awarded a uh, federal uh, urban housing development grant um, from the Housing and Urban Development uh, Department. Uh, it's $1.2 million, so the city will use that money in addition to uh, some of its own money uh, to, to work this all out, because we know it's, it's going to come with a price tag for sure. For sure. Kristen Wright, thank you. Mark?